careful here. Morty Maxwell, the master of mischief, has moved into the Shady Glen Tech Center and taken over as the head scientist. Your job is to accept Morty's challenge and prove that you are a better scientist than he is. Because that's how science works. Morty has locked the doors in the warehouse with science puzzles. Show him how much you know about science by solving the puzzles. Then go through the doors. Find the best vehicle parts and build faster vehicles than Morty builds. To make your job more difficult, Morty's sneaky cyber chimps are collecting vehicle parts too. Outsmart the chimps by throwing bananas to make uh, to them and making them take a nap. Uh, race against Morty and win all 15 of the challenge races. You will reclaim the tech center and be the head scientist. Because, again, like, that's totally how science works. Like, you have a head scientist who governs all the science in the building. And, gosh, like, if somebody takes over a tech center and calls them a self scientist, that's just horrible. This is, like, the worst crime ever. <laughs> in multiple senses of the word worst. Um... Yeah, now this is interesting. So yeah, uh, the chimps go occupy the building. We go walk up. And I've already broken the game. Holy crap. Did not know I could do that. What does the cancel button do? Alright. Yeah, let's be Simon for once. Alright. Um... I don't know. No, Simon's already there. We want a new player. Uh, we're gonna play as our old faithful account name. Uh, do we want to play with chimps? Sure. Chimps make things more fun. So, let's see. There's alternative energy, automotive, and aircraft. So you've probably seen my previous playthrough on here, where I did opt for uh, aircraft. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, well, should we check out what the alternative energy thing has to do? Building has to offer? There we go. New player hint. Look at the blueprint to see which parts you need to build your vehicle. Click on the parts to get more information about them, then go to the warehouse to find the parts. All right, we're building a pedal-powered racer. So we got gears, we have a body, we've got wheels and tires and brakes and more brakes and paint and decals. All right, so we need to collect four parts out of the warehouse for us to go um, commence racing. So let's see, is it control to run? It is control to run. And I cannot hold the control key down while going through a door. And there's all these boxes in the warehouse. You need to pick up the boxes to get the parts. And once you have the parts, um, you can build the vehicle. Wait, wait, wait. How do you jump again? All right, this is how you jump. And then you press up through a door to enter the door and are confronted with the science puzzle. And then you like say, I'm gonna go build the scale. And this is going to go on the one side and this is gonna go on the other side. And then there's the fulcrum. And yeah, I've done this before. Some of these puzzles might look familiar if you watched my stream like forever ago. All right, so we got a decal. That's like the most important port, most important part of the vehicle. Okay, so we still need two more parts to commence a race. Um, I see there are two boxes if I go up one floor, but that doesn't seem so easy to escape. So let's uh, let's go this way instead see if there are any boxes over here. All right, so we got electrical energy is the potato clock. Mechanical energy is striking a match. Heat energy is, uh, just kidding, mechanical energy is the windmill. Uh, very temporarily there is frictive energy or friction that quickly dissipates as heat and the heat triggers a chemical reaction. And anyway, um, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, maybe. I science once. Alright, 
Wait, okay, so I picked up some bananas. No, I picked up some gears. Um, I don't want to fall down there, so let me be a little bit careful. Fuck. Alright. So you can throw the bananas to make the chimps fall asleep, and you can run away. So you want to shoot the basketball with an energy of four to make it into the flashing hole. That's four away. Puzzles later on in the game get slightly more challenging. Uh, so yeah, I missed the jump the first time around. We're going to try to make this jump again. Yeah, this is like the best game ever. If you haven't played the next game in the series. Um, so let's jump away. Let's see, there's three doors up a level. I suppose I can go up a level then. Oh, I'm sorry, there's three boxes up. No, three doors and some boxes up a level there. You played this game... Yeah, this game was super addictive. Um, okay, mechanical energy, chemical energy, heat energy causes a reaction, but that reaction actually caramelizes the food. So, like, you're transforming heat into a chemical reaction. So, anyway. Uh, um, Alright, alright, I have two wheels. So we got 20 inch wheels and tires. We got 22 inch wheels and tires. Uh, yeah, we want larger wheels rather than smaller. 26 inch wheels and tires. Nice. Can I find any boxes over this way? And perhaps can I find the last part for my vehicle? Okay, the red box is a recycled part. Alright, two wheel stopping brake. Alright, we've got two bodies over here. Rectangular and a short slope. Well, rectangular has friction. Body with a long slope is better. Alright. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm going to escape this, I'm going to have to go out like this door. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're building some kind of... Uh, we're in the alternative energy lab. So we're building, I guess, this bike-pedaled car. Uh, yeah, there we go. So let's go build it. So let's put the decal on first. And then after putting on the decal, let's apply the spray paint. Okay, I don't have spray paint. Alright, but yeah, you need uh, brakes, you need some gears, you need some wheels. And once you've put these into your vehicle, um, uh, then the chimps can't steal them from you. I didn't have the spray paint, man. I mean, what can you do, right? So I have some gigantic wheels, I have some gears, like... The point is, like, as you conduct these races, uh, each gets successively more complex in terms of the vehicle construction. Yeah, so we were able to outrace Morty. We got four more races to go. Um, Alright, so let's go back to... oh. Yeah, next level would take me back to the same building. Next, we're going to be building a solar-powered racer with tires, wheels, brakes. Um, more brakes. A differential, batteries, an electric motor, and a body. And of course, the decal and spray paint, assuming we can find decals and spray paint. And the chimps don't steal it from us. Alright. Uh, yeah, magnets. These were the worst puzzles because they take forever to animate. Even in the emulator, there's no way to speed it up. Like, the the magnets will just float around on the table for a minute. Three and a half to one gear ratio. If I remember right, that's pretty good. Okay, we got a motor and we got a differential thing. Um, so I'm not feeling too adventurous right now. I do want to go up two levels and collect a ton of boxes, but also... I don't want my parts to be stolen, so we're just going to stash it here. Safe out of the reach of chimps. And then we go back. Uh, See, so yeah, I need to exit the door to my left now. As far left as I can go. Alright, this is as far left as I can go, and then we have to solve a puzzle. 
So 4 times 5 is the same as 4 times 5. Uh, our moment of inertia is balanced. Uh, so I need to go up two levels to get some stuff. So let's go up two levels. Alright, can I make... Ah, shit. Okay, we're going to have to go down a level at some point. But at least the chimps are all stuck up there, so we don't have to run into them again. Um, Alright. We collect whatever's in here. A decal. That's important. I don't suppose they're... It'd be funny if, like, the decal somehow contributed to your performance. Alright, we got a box. We got a box. Got another box. I'm going to attempt to make the jump here. There we go. Let's collect these boxes. Okay, well, we got spray paint. We got another, a more powerful motor. Um, shit. How'd he get there? He's ruining my day. You suck. I have no choice but to face him if I'm going to take these boxes. Uh, yeah, those were not very useful boxes. Oh no, a chimp ran into me. Give me my box back. Thank you. I could have done that so much better. All right, uh, let's go back up the tube before Chimp gets any ideas. All right, so we have multiple colors of spray paint. Which one should we use? This is a very important question. Also, we have to pick the dragon decal. Like, Shogi demands it. All right, so we got green paint and we have red paint. Should I start a poll for red or green? Or do you just have a preference? Yeah, you have to go with the dragon. Alright, how do poles work in this interface? Uh, manage your pole. Sure. Alright. Oh, you always want red. Alright. Nice. You see that red paint? Oh, there is... Yeah, there is two of us. To quote Strong Bad. Alright. Color? Question mark. Red? Green. Alright. Uh, start pull. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna track the results of this. Oh, snap. Wow. Alright, our pull is split 50-50, guys. So... I mean, this means that I get to decide the poll. Now, note that I could actually look and see who voted for which color. Twitch gives me the power to do that, to take a look at the vote breakdown. So, like, your votes are not secret, as far as I know. <laughs> um, yeah, let me just verify. Wait, wait, come on. Uh, t -t -t wait. I could have sworn, like... No, the breakdown doesn't actually tell me who voted for what. It just breaks the votes down into categories by, like, bits contributors and channel points contributors and, like, other silly categories. Alright, we're gonna paint it both colors, and then whichever one I apply last is gonna win. Okay, uh... I was a dummy and I closed the chat window. I'll be right back. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, red paint. Okay, there we go. That was hard. Um, okay, I have to get my chat window back. I can't go out this way, right? No, we have to go back up here. Yeah, we're going with red. Red vehicles go faster. It's science. Uh, okay. Oh, you've seen red a million times. 
But yeah, red vehicles go faster, so I mean... I'm not gonna lose this race, just because we want green paint. It's been decided by my very scientific... I don't know. Oh, green sucks? Yeah, okay. Alright, we're gonna go up and pick some boxes here. Red blimp. Wow, that sounds grotesque. Alright, seriously, where are some boxes? Here's a box. I can't even pick it up. Alright, I picked up some more wheels or gears or something. Oh, hey, look, we got a body. A body has been discovered. Alright, so this is a fulcrum. A class whatever lever that was. I probably should have read that. I think that's class 1 lever because the fulcrum's in the center. Alright, we're gonna go back up and uh, put our body on our vehicle. Now let's see, this was like the 40 kilowatt motor, this is the 50 kilowatt electric motor. Um, Self-lubricating brushings, ball bearings are the best. We've already picked red paint because red's the best. Brakes are kind of important. 60 solar cell panels. Nice. I think 60's good. Um, Alright, is there anything back here, perhaps? Alright, you can connect a wire. Uh, I'm trying to be cheeky about this. Is it gonna let me, like, hook this up? No. Okay, I can't mess with it. There's sometimes you can, like, save a wire. But apparently it cares about the polarity. Like, it actually tries to teach you stuff. Uh, hey, look, we got a 60 solar cell, and we got 40. I'm gonna recycle the 40, and we got an 80. 80 sounds good. Alright, and then... Can I just type a number for this? No, I have to actually pull it back. Like, something like that. There we go. Nice. I think, yeah, I'm cornered. We're gonna have to go back out a different doorway and... Oh, no chimp this time. That's fortunate. Uh, let's see. <laughs> hey, those Lee chess puzzles could be pretty evil. I'm just saying. Although the mate and ones in the forum aren't that bad. Most of the time. I've had some bad ones. Believe it or not. Alright, so we're going to put our body back on the vehicle. Is this the 80? That's the 60. Here's the 80. Um, this is kind of actually making me go ascend. Uh, so, ascend we shall. Alright, let's try a door. Uh, shoot the basketball into the flashing hole. You can't make me. I could always turn away and say no. Maybe. Wait, this... No, there's no gap there. Um, there is one box if I go down a level. So perhaps if I pick up this box, this might be whatever part I'm missing. You see, parts needed still says one, so I still need one more part build my vehicle. Nice, a battery. No, I'm sorry, parts needed is now one. Doesn't matter, we're gonna go stick our battery into the vehicle before we lose the battery. I don't want the chimps ruining my perfect run. Alright. Tiny little battery. Because you know, the larger the battery is, the greater its capacitance. Science. Alright, this magnet puzzle's not too awful. There are some where you just have to put down tons of magnets, which are super painful. 
Are you kidding me? Alright, so for me to actually get somewhere... I mean, there is one box over there, but very likely I just need to uh, shoot this way and go up a little bit more. Shoot the water melon into the flashing hole. Nice. Oh, well, not so nice. Actually, ascending this thing is kind of complicated. Man, I'm gonna get stuck running into chimps no matter which way I go. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, yeah, I could go down exactly one level if I could find a way to do that. Um, I actually don't have a way to go down one level. We're gonna go confront some chimps. Can I hit the chimps, like, as they're falling here? Alright. Chimps, give me boxes, please. I know you didn't steal anything from me. I mean, now you did, but... Uh, okay, I mean, I could take this part back. No, that part transformed into paint. Alright, chemical energy... Electrical energy... Mechanical energy... Chemical... That's it. No, in many cases the game does tell you which parts are better than the others. You just have to, like, read the schematics. But, like, I read the schematics when the game was published, and hopefully I remember them well enough to, like... I don't know. I don't, but let's pretend. Alright, I mean, we picked the dragon decal. Oh, we got a cobra decal. Alright, uh, we want these both to turn the same direction. So, you have to count the gears, or just experiment. <laughs> Shit, this is not good. <laughs> this is a bad omen. Alright. Uh, Alright, so how am I going to get out of here? Alright, we got like a screw? No, a uh, nail. And the nail ends in a wedge at the bottom. Alright, there are two boxes behind that other door. That's two po- oh! Never mind, we got tires. We got more tires. I don't need to go behind that other door anymore. Okay, I missed a box on this level, but... Uh, let's see, we've got... We've equipped a 40. We're holding a 50. Wait, no, we didn't equip the 40. Let's take this. This is a 30. Yeah, we've already got the best ball bearings, so no need to gamble there. Okay, we're not doing six magnets. We're going to do a different puzzle. Hey, look, the puzzle's different. Magic. All right. Um, so those are some serious speedrun strats. All right, did I equip one of these? Wait, I'm certain I did, but I can't find the part I equipped. Oh, here it is. Way back here. Three and a half to one gear differential, so that's better than three to one. 50 watt, ki 50 kilowatt motor, oh. Yeah, we're still picking the dragon. Ball bearings, nope. Ball bearings, all right, next. Red paint, next. Breaks. Okay, already there. Hopefully. Solar cells. Wheels. Here we go. Let's go win a race.
I like how we have the inner track. This is totally fair. Oh god. Well... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's embarrassing. You gotta get good. I don't think that I messed this up. I just need better parts. Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, guess we need to ascend to the top of this mess. Like, the game doesn't even point that out to you. Like, as a kid, you don't even notice that. But that's a uh, wonder... Oh, hang on. Maybe the red paint is the problem. Oh, gosh. Well, so our color choices were red and green. We're not going to do green paint. But maybe this other paint color. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? Blue paint. Okay. Guys, we're doing the blue paint strats. Oh, alright, I already tried that box. Okay. You know, I was gonna, like, pick up other parts and stuff, but this is actually too convenient and too good of a meme. So, we're gonna try blue paint. We have to do this for science. All right, here we go. Blue paint. I swear, if this works, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> really don't know. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, crap. So close. <sighs> really, I thought the blue paint would do it. All right. <laughs> Uh, we just need, maybe we need to go back and pick up the green paint. <laughs> oh, try the 10 inch wheels? Really? I mean, we could. At this point, like, I have no objection. Oh, not the tires, try the other wheels. So you're not talking about these tires. Do I have other wheels here? Did I miss something? Like, I've got brakes. I've got paint. I've got self-lubricating bushings. No, like, if you go over here, this will tell you. Uh, wheels with self-lubricating bushings will have less friction than wheels with metal bushings. Wheels with ball bearings have the least amount of friction. It's so, like, it'll tell you which parts you want to collect. Um, wait, so there's this whole thing on the left here. Really, I thought it would, that, like, surely the blue paint was going to do it for us. Alright, so there's three boxes up on this top floor. So we just need to... Navigate our way over there. I don't really care about losing a part. Um, I'm more interested in if I can get parts from the chimps. Um, Alright, so we're going to have to go to this upper right door, which is going to be on the left now. Oh, there's two more boxes up there too, so we might end up visiting all the doors up here. Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh no, you've played this game before and you didn't know that? Oh, that's terrible. But then again, like, most kids probably can't read anyway. So I'm not really sure who the target audience is. Nine inches, ten inches. Alright, we got some other paint color. Yellow paint. I mean, we haven't tried yellow yet. We have tried blue. Okay, what's the other paint color? Green. 
All right, we're gonna start another poll here for yellow or green. So one second, color, new poll, color, yellow, green. I'm just gonna put red here just in case you want me to go find the red paint again. Um, I mean, at this point, like, we're gonna search this warehouse pretty exhaustively. So, yeah, if you want me to go back and find the red paint, um, I'm seriously considering it. Because, <laughs> like, we need to win this race. For science. Alright, so, three and a half, three to one. Do we have a four to one? That's two to one. Maybe I should actually read the directions. Another battery with... Oh, this one has slightly more power. Alright. Um, now I just have to escape this damn prison trap thing. So, to escape I have to go down here? Yeah. Alright, one second. First we're going to check that I'm not going to get ambushed by a shit. Does control space throw further? Yes, it actually throws harder. Hang on. So we got a body with 80. We got a body with 20. 60's no better. Need to escape this damn chip before he ruins my day again. Got breaks already. Alright, so now time to check my pull results. Before the chimp hits me. Poll results are yellow. Alright, we're gonna do yellow assuming I can still have the yellow paint. If not, we'll have to do another poll. But, um. Wait, wait, wait. So this is the 60. This other one's the 80, right? No. This other one, 80 solar cell. Yeah, so. Um, so we got a battery that's slightly more powerful, right? 50, 60? That's probably the difference right there. Uh, 10 inch diameter wheels. 60, 80. But we can't go without repainting. So if we got yellow paint, we gotta use it. Well, we got green paint. That's close enough. Damn, Chimp stole our yellow paint. Yeah, I sure hope we can beat Morty now. We're still on the inside track. For, a si for the head scientist, you'd think he'd know better. Man. Red paint, best paint. It's like I threw it all away there. Oh, hang on. There's one other thing we haven't tried. We're actually going to have to give up our dragon decal and try the cobra. Alright, here we go. Cobra... Cobra decal time. This is going to make all the difference. We got the green cobra. Green cobra has to win. Come on, come on, come on. So close. Yeah, that's disappointing. Although that is kind of like a real race. So. Alright, fine. Ah, uh, shit. So, this is like making me solve science puzzles or something to collect parts. Because the game's refusing to give me good parts, even on easy mode. Which, okay. I guess I'll have to go through the top center doors to pick up some more parts. Unless there's like a huge stash over here. And I have to go up or down a floor. Alright, so... Turn on the light bulb by making a circuit. I can't go up a floor. Alright, that didn't... 
I wasn't sure if that was gonna catapult me across or up. Um, so I need to go down a floor from here, which means I need to jump this gap. There we go. Uh, shoot the watermelon into the flashing hole. No, you don't need the decal or the paint, technically. Okay, is, oh, right, I should read the instructions, but I think the four to one differential is the best part. Probably should have read about that before exchanging things, but. Wow, see, we can go straight through the gym. Easy. All right. Um, let me check the directions. Oops, two to one is the best differential. Okay, four to one's the worst. Why is that? The gear differential with three to one means the drive shaft must turn three times. Okay, that would explain why I'm having so many problems with this stage. Um, so we got the four to one part, which is not gonna help us. And I chucked the two to one. So yeah, um, all this stuff about color and uh, decal and stuff probably wasn't the important part. Although it did make for a fun story along the way. Yeah, so we're gonna have to find a red box somewhere. Red are recycled parts. All right, there's a red box. To go up a level. I used to be okay at this game. Solar cells. Well, we got 80 solar cells, we got 60 solar cells, we got 20 solar cells. Okay. Where else can I find a red box in this damn place? Uh, am I actually going to have to fight these chimps in the upper left corner? Oh, here's another red box. So, 20 solar cell panels. 60. Okay, no red box over there. How about on the right here? Is there a red box? A single red box here. All right, this is the part we're looking for. Two to one gear ratio. Yeah, it would be different if it were one to two instead of two to one. Um, I was thinking about that backwards. So while having a different gear ratio can be good for force, there's a trade-off with like torque versus angular momentum or something. Like this should go much better. Zoom, zoom. All right. Eat dirt. I learned science, Morty. I actually learned something today. Now that means I have to be like pedaling a lot harder or something for that to work, but um, sure, we're assistant now. All right, a class one electric racer. So we have a body, some electric motor, a battery, all these other parts we've seen before. Um, and the differential, of course. So class one electric racer, this is not solar powered. Uh, it does have a battery and an electric motor. Honestly, like, this is quite similar to the other one. But this is still alternative energy because it doesn't mention gasoline. This one's powered by nuclear power. So you can actually shoot, like, the beach ball way off into space. 
if you're not careful. Alright, we got a box. What's in the box? Breaks. Alright, so we can complete the circuit. Wait, can I move the battery? No. There's one case where you can actually move the battery to hook it up directly to the light bulb, saving a wire. It's gonna be the most epic moment when we get there. More brakes, guys. We have a vehicle that's not gonna be able to go anywhere. Hey, hey look, I found an open door. And since love is an open door, um, yeah. Okay, we got like a really terrible battery. That's cool. Uh, so there was a door over here that had one box. Let's go in here. Okay. The mechanical device. I don't know, man. Close enough. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, uh, let's make some effort to line things up. Ah, um, nom nom. I liked my diversion better. Alright, um, bananas, ooh, a box, ooh, a box, guess what, more breaks. Alright, let's go put our brakes on our non-existent car before chimps get ideas about stealing our brakes. Alright. I guess we actually have to go up and through this building. Wait, what was this battery? This one's, uh, 30. So that's not a better battery. I'm not interested in hoarding that part. Alright, you're gonna take my part, and you're gonna turn it into something else. Eventually. Alright. Magic. Here's a part. Here's a part. Screw you. <laughs> Didn't even get to see what my part was. Alright. Wait, we've got 10 inch tires, 11 inch tires, 9 inch tires. My terrible battery is back. Alright, and if I want to escape, I'm going to have to exit out to the left, which is the right here. Uh, or we swatch, switched out the 100 panel body for the 60 panel body. Yeah, I thought there was a 100 panel body. We picked the 80 one because it was the best that we had, but I thought there was a better one. Big wheels, motor, awful differential, falcon decal, fiberglass body shaped like a rocket. At least we have one good part. Alright, we're gonna get trapped up here and then navigate our way out. So, 9 inch tires, 10 inch tires. Okay, light, nuclear, mechanical, easy. Yeah, you could actually see the paint, you just couldn't see the decal. Alright, guess what? We're uh, Got their 10 inch tires or 11 inch tires. That recycled part is the 9 inch tires again. It just keeps showing up over and over. I'm tired of picking it up. Yellow paint. Alright, we're gonna get to do yellow paint this time. Alright, and this is an axe. Easy. 
I'm kind of amazed this works so well on MS-DOS. Alright, we have to apply our yellow paint before we lose it, man. We don't want to lose the yellow paint. This is going to be our secret to victory. Alright, let's go in this other room. Start navigating our way up, because apparently the game refuses to give me enough parts to build a car. Okay, we got a switch. Make sure to use the switch. Damn it, there's always a catch. There's always a catch. Like, how did they ever get this going in MS-DOS, I wonder? Alright, I just collected a part which might be worth protecting. Alright, there we go. You don't need to use all the pieces to solve a puzzle. You just have to satisfy the objective. Alright, escaping here might be a mess. Alright, yeah, we're not doing... Whoops, wrong button. We're gonna go back here. And we're gonna do a different puzzle, because magnets suck. Alright, beach ball. Let's see, like this much? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, pick up whatever part that is. Um, let me check. Alright, he left with... That jerk took my motor. We're gonna come back and hit him. Make sure to use the switch. Wait, are you telling me I can't connect this end to... Alright, there we go. Uh, let's connect this end to, like, this one, and then connect this end to this one, and see if the engineers did their testing. Alright, good. By engineers, I mean game developers. Alright, am I gonna fall here? Uh, not immediately. Dude, come back with my part. Not cool. Just screw you, too. Alright, fine. I wanted that motor. Um, but I didn't want it badly enough to give up whatever parts I already had. So have I put a motor in this vehicle? Yes, I put a 50 in there. Uh, I didn't want to lose my uh, part back here. So we got a 3 to 1 differential ratio. We're just going to replace the 3 and the half to 1. We're still going to use our fiberglass. Okay, so the part I collected that I wasn't able to get a clear glance at is not actually that worth protecting. Damp Chimp stole my good motor. Alright, we're gonna attack our other chimp on this first floor. Which is a bad idea, but... There's no shortcuts in this game. It's not cool. There we go. That's how a faucet works, by the way. Got another decal. Do we get a better battery? 30, 40, 50, I think. All right, five pieces. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's try. Let's try sticking that over here. Mission accomplished, right? Okay, that's better. Man, 
Didn't even give me a good part. Alright, so fine. We'll check out this corner. Again, trying not to trap myself too much. No, I don't want this puzzle. Give me a different puzzle. There we go. I've never seen it offer the same puzzles twice in a row. Bananas. It's just what we needed. We need to collect all the bananas and then free the princess or something. Alright, can I flip... Actually, yeah, let's flip the switch and then hook up the wire. That seems safe. Alright. Dude! Uh, way to make me feel old. <laughs> uh... Wait. What's this battery? 50, I think in this I stuck a 40. That's not the battery. There's the battery. Okay, we put a 50 in there now. Uh, we've got a 40 kilowatt electric motor, but I think I put a better motor in there. This differential is sucks. Yeah. Um, we've got a shark decal. Uh, now we're sticking with the Falcon. The Falcon's the fastest decal. Alright, yeah, we picked yellow paint last time and didn't actually get to apply it. Here we go. But yeah, this is by the learning company. Oh yeah, we're totally winning this if we just pretend that we're the other vehicle. Yep, definitely winning this. Damn, chimps won't give me the parts I need. Alright. It's rigged. Science is all rigged. Oh, wait. Wait, there's, um, there's four chimps up there. Let's go this way. So maybe we don't have to deal with four chimps? Alright, are there boxes over here? Okay, so we got a switch. Wait, can I hook this up directly to the light bulb? No. Okay, fine. It's gonna make me hook up this switch. Let's stick the switch over here somewhere. Stick the battery over there. How far can I stick these things from each other? Alright, and then we're gonna hook up the switch to this. And then we're gonna hook up the battery to the left end of the light bulb. And then hook up the switch like that. And it works! All right, so there's four boxes if I look behind the curtain there. I've got three boxes here. All right, we had a shark. What decal is this? The racing bee. Well, that has the word racing in it, so it's gotta be a good decal. 40 kilowatt motor, 60 kilowatt motor. All right, we're gonna win this. We got double breaks now. Uh, three and a half to one. Four to one gear differential ratio. Excellent if you need to move a heavy part. Not so excellent if you're racing. Okay, so t there's... Five times four is twenty on this side, and four times five is twenty on the other side. And I hit the go back button instead of the go into the door button. Whatever. Apparently you have the option to, like, not proceed through the door after solving the puzzle. Um, alright, so... Got the killer bee. Oh, hang on, we got, we got blue paint. Okay, and let's take the body off. So just watch uh, the decal hover in space. 
what was it? 40 is the battery, 50 is this battery. I thought I got a better part, didn't I? Oh yeah, the motor. Alright, to actually apply a different motor, I've got to remove the decal. That's just how science works. Can I grab this? Oh, it's sticking out the edge there, but I cannot grab it. Alright, Racing B, here we go. Dude, this is the slowest Racing B ever. So yeah, as you progress in the workshop, it becomes harder to win the races. Because Morty actually learns how to make good vehicles, or how to cheat. And Morty challenges you, the Super Solver, to produce vehicles and actually read the blueprints, maybe. Alright, so we have equipped a 60 kilowatt electric motor. That's a 40. Okay, we're gonna go into a door. Okay, we got six, uh, 30 on the one side, 30 on the other side. One of these times I'm going to mess that puzzle up and it's going to be embarrassing. Alright, so we got brakes. We'll see if we can get better brakes. Because that's like super important. Okay, dumb battery. Other brakes. You're going to have to go up a level to get those two boxes. Uh, wait, is there... No, this door is closed. So I'm going to have to go up to the left. Well, this is possible. I can go up into the left of the leftmost door. Uh, because I can do this. There's an open door there. Shit! I missed. I missed again. That's probably for the best. Uh, let's see. So we got some... Weights over here. Yeah, it was a good time for science. Science had a few good days. Oh, hang on. This might be one of the parts that we really need. Alright, we needed that part. So, yeah, I think back... Back then, the way I used to play this game was go up to the top floor and collect a lot of things on the way down. Like today I'm trying a different strategy of just collecting as few things as necessary. Um, and just hoping I can win the race. And it's just not working at all. Come on. You're really going to make me take apart the whole vehicle? No. Okay, good. 2 to 1 gear differential ratio. Nothing more to it. Actually, let's try this. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are... Those are brakes. Yeah, I don't feel like taking the tires, wheels, etc. apart. Just to replace the brakes. Um, Alright, we tried blue last time. Let's try green. We got green paint. And let's put the Falcon decal back on. I guess those other, like, the paint and the decal give you some sort of distraction as a kid. So you don't get too discouraged when your same vehicle loses every single time. It, the race is actually a slightly different experience for kids each time there. Alright. Oh, we can actually rerun the race and have him defeat you again and again. Um, wait. Alright, that's not an open door on the left. Um, that door doesn't lead anywhere. I want to go up exactly one level here. Okay, this is doable. Escaping is going to be a bit of a pain, but, um, alright, so we've got a pulley. 
and a pulley. So this is a movable tackle, or a movable pulley, and an immobile pulley. So, yay. Alright. So, I suppose we could give up the uh, wooden body shaped like a box. Even though the fiberglass body shaped like a rocket is the best part. Alright. Okay, it won't let me hook this. Wait, what? I beg your pardon. The fuck? <sighs> what is this? What kind of cruel joke is... Um, the learning company. I need to file a bug report? Okay, that's more like it. Jeez. Perfect. Alright. That was weird. <laughs> All those chimps are having the party up there. That's quite the party. So yeah, apparently only one of the wheels could be... Um, hang on. Wheels with metal bushings, self-lubricating bushings. It's gonna make all the difference in the world. That and blue paint. <laughs> I swear, he's trying harder. He's rubber banding because my vehicle's getting slightly better each time. And, like, his is actually accelerating each time I do this. Yeah, still no ball bearing wheels. Like, this is not fair. I don't want to fight all the chimps. I'm quite content letting the chimps have their day up there. And not having to deal with them. Wait, where are these guys coming from? Jeez, there's like eight chimps or something. Alright. I am mildly amused by this wonky contraption. And while I could make this more confusing, I choose not to. Alright, we got a box. Bananas. Just what we needed. Differentials. More differentials. Now, we got a 3 to 1 and a 2 to 1. We don't need other differentials because we already have the 2 to 1. Um, okay, well. We're going to go against conventional wisdom. We're going to chuck the blue paint. Yeah, we got yellow paint. That's going to make a huge difference in the speed of our vehicle. Um, Alright, so there's stuff up here, apparently. There's one box behind this door. Um, yeah, no, this is crazy. Like, I don't think this game has multiple levels of difficulty. It's just as you continue ascending... Um, game just becomes more and more strict. You have to keep building better vehicles, but we're only on level 3 at this point. So this is just gonna suck. Um, hang on, what's this part? 60, 40, 50? I thought so. Okay, we got some other decals. Hang on. 
This is what we're looking for, maybe. All right, we got uh, oh, a shark decal. That'll be good. Yeah, I didn't want the yellow paint that much. A red shark. Um, there we go, ball bearings. Jackpot. This is a class one lever. All right, can we get to the exit, please? Yes, we can get to the exit. Oh, those are nice. That was the other part that I collected earlier and didn't recognize that I had collected. Alright, we're gonna use the shark. Apparently I have to remove the falcon to apply the shark. Okay, but we're just gonna paint over this. It's gonna be red now. We've got ball bearings. Let's do this. I might still lose this. That was close. Hooray! We are now a technician! Because, like, a kid knows what that means. Although, maybe a science kid might know. A Class 2 electric racer. This one has a windshield. Alright. We're going to go collect eight parts. Wow, we're going to start by getting hit by one of those cyber chimps. Um, right, so we're going to now try the strategy of just going to the top and working our way down. Now notice the upper right door is open. Alright, so we got an inclined plane here. Got, I guess you're calling the ladder an inclined plane, even though it's really just a series of steps. But I guess if you try hard enough, you could think of it as an inclined plane. If you're inclined to think so. All right. Where we're gonna run out of circuits that we can design from those parts. Three to one gear differential, we got some kind of body. Alright, we're gonna go through this other door now. And we got a pulley and a pulley, and we're gonna check. Yeah, I actually don't recall the name, like, if they're all called Cyber Chimps. Um, but yeah, these guys you don't see as much of if you don't get this far in the game. Uh, also, you only see these guys like twice per building. Wait. Hang on. Hang on, we have to see if we can, like, do something weird with this. Can I not disconnect that? Okay, fine. I was gonna see if I could do something silly, but it's not gonna let me disconnect the wires. It's like fused in place. I might have missed my one opportunity to do something silly with that puzzle. Yeah, so like starting at the top and working your way down is a lot less painful. So the exit is on the left, so we want to pick the rightmost door. Shoot the boot into the flashing hole. 
I missed. Man, I was gonna boast if I got that right. Alright, so we got a 2 to 1 gear differential. Yeah, let's pick that. Alright, we got this nice little wooden body shape like a box. Perfect. Got blue paint. Got a comet. Got this big ass motor. And brakes. We only need four more parts. Alright, um. So yeah, we're gonna go up and over. Not the door I intended, but fine. Uh, yeah, so this actually does require some effort. 5 times 5 is not 30, so that's why I just stuck it in the middle there. Is there anything over here? Hey, two boxes. And I don't remember how this goes. There we go. Close enough. We're gonna blame the mouse for some of that. Did I see there was a box down here? Okay, we got the clothesline, which goes directly in the middle here. Just move the wall, move the other wall. Perfect. Alright, um, yeah, we got a windshield, we got some something, tires. Alright, let's apply some more parts here. Curved, sloping windshield. Wait, four wheels with ball bearings. All right, we just need tires and uh, something. I feel like the game's trying to reward me after it screwed me over twice in a row. Could just be fate. I tried to jump. My mistake. Wedge. 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 This whole thing's a big wedge. Three wedges make a zipper. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything back here. I was trying to jump up here. Still trying to jump. Still being forced to go into the door. Alright. That's more like it. Alright, shoot the boot into the flashing hole. Okay, so we need a two. Close enough. Alright, so I want the door on my, uh, the left of the map, which is the door on my right. Uh, I did see there were a couple boxes down a floor. Yeah, I don't like magnets. Can we get something other than magnets, please? Thank you. This is the class three lever? No. Yeah, three. So. I forget exactly what about the fulcrum with respect to position of the weight, but... No, here's the fulcrum, here's the muscle pulling in the center, and there's the weight. So that's what makes it a class three lever. Um, I clicked the go back button, didn't I? Okay, we have ungone back. Okay, give me a box. Wooden body with a long slope. Alright, we'll take it. Light energy. Electrical energy. Mechanical energy. Let's check. Do 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 do. Boop. All right, we got some tires. So before those get stolen, we're gonna go put them on the car. 
thankfully the chimps can't go in here. Alright. Oh, hang on. Wooden body shaped like a box is going to be getting replaced. Uh, 80 kilowatt electric motor. No, we got the 100 kilowatt motor. The 100 kilowatt motor is going to stay. Stay. So we're still missing one part, and we'll find out in due time what that part is. Uh, so, let's see, how do we navigate this thing again? Carefully, I guess. Huh. I'm going to have to fight the chip again. That's annoying. So I have to go over to my right here. Actually, just kidding. To escape this, I need to go down a level. And then jump over uh, the trampoline. And see, maybe there's something behind this door. Can I fit the switch here? No. The switch only fits other places. There we go. We fused the switch to the circuit. Do, 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 do. Alright. The wooden body shaped like a box is going in favor of fiberglass body shaped like a rocket. Which is a really nice part to have. Uh, I can't ascend over here. Well, I'm going to escape with my fiberglass body and then come back. Or maybe visit the next room over. Because um, I don't feel like fighting this chimp. So let's go replace the body of our vehicle. And then go back up. I meant to jump. Alright, we got a class 2 lever. And we got a wheel. Wait, is the class 2... Shit. It's like here, the load is in the center, the fulcrum's on the side, and the force is on the other side. Um... I am so confused. Yeah, so it's the class 2 lever that's backward with regard to the icon. The force is applied on this side. The fulcrum's over here. Uh, actually, wait. It's not right. I'm so confused. Um, it depends how you operate this device. If you're operating it the way that it's suggested, with this on the ground, this is actually a class 1 lever, because you could push up and the wheel would go up. Or you push down and the wheel could go up. But normally you would pick up the end of the device here, and then um, the heavy load is in the center, and uh, the fulcrum's over here where the wheel is. So that's normally how you would use a wheelbarrow. Um, but yeah, as depicted, with that uh, resting point fastened in place, um, that could actually function as a class 1 lever if your object is to push up the wheel. Don't know why you would do that. Using low gravity. So this is where it first clues you in that you can change gravity. Alright, we're gonna go up and get trapped a bit. Shoot the watermelon into the flashing hole. I was trying to click a little bit 
further back. I wasn't sure whether it was a six or a seven the first time, and then I was not thinking clearly. Hey, look! We got a battery. So now we can actually build the car. Mission accomplished. Uh, oh, hey, I can escape. I didn't see this coming, actually. So yeah, we can actually race. This is gonna suck. Like, you can't imagine. But we can race if we just stick a battery in there. This is not OSHA compliant. This is so not OSHA compliant. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was exciting. I was hoping we could, like, DQ him for striking our vehicle. Like, that is so, so dangerous. No parts. Wow, you stingy jerks. Alright. Fit the puzzle pieces together to make a machine. Alright, let's stick this, I don't know, here? There, no, okay, this goes in the center. Hey, we got green paint now. Alright, if you're eating an apple, the apple wedges you here and the apple wedges you there. Slices your teeth right open. Hopefully not, but depends on the apple. Okay, there's a part. Now, if I go to the left. Wow! So there's a soda machine there, but aside from the soda machine, that corner of the room doesn't have anything. Should we go get the soda machine? See if we could, like, exchange our bananas for soda. Alright, wait. It's trying to tell me to give up my green paint. We're gonna give up the blue paint to take yellow paint instead. Uh, oops, well... Too late for the soda machine. Okay, fine. This game insists we'll stick some magnets together. This one's not too terrible. Just kidding. I'm smart. Ish. I'm also super impatient. Uh, at least with this game. Okay. Uh, crap. Alright, so to actually get something, we have to go into the next room over. Right, none of these doors are open. Or none of those panels on the side are open. Okay, we'll try this door. Wait, can I move both of these parts? Alright, I can't fit them all in the same spot. Well, flip. Alright.
There we go. Mission accomplished. Um, another body. Wooden body with a long slope. Oh, boxes. All right, first, let's try to make the jump. Are there boxes up here? There's one box. Let's take it. Okay, we got another windshield. Okay, we got brakes and brakes. Let's see what this other part is. It's brakes! All right, we got a battery. That's not awful. All right, so wooden body with a short slope, fiberglass body shaped like a rocket. Oh, I thought the game had just given up on me there for a second. It said, like, this guy doesn't know how to build circuits. We're just going to build it for him. Um, no, it actually does make you exert some effort. Although it seems the hardest part here is getting the wires detached so you can hook up something that makes sense. Um, no, because, like, I need to detach some of these wires somehow. There we go. What did I just do? Oh, that's what I just did. Alright, just kidding. I finally messed it up. But I'm blaming the interface for my mistake. As opposed to my ridiculously silly impulses. That one I can kind of blame on the interface. Because, like, if it's not going to let me detach any of these wires, this gets a little more complicated. Um, could flip the switch all day. Um, see, this doesn't work. I'm not sure exactly what it takes to get these wires disconnected. Okay, we're going to go back and try a different puzzle. Hopefully. Alright, 10. Alright, to get 10, you multiply 3 by 3 and 1 by 1. Alright, we have escaped. That's like some Legends of the Hidden Temple stuff right there. 3 to 1 gear ratio. Hang on, yellow paint, green paint, yellow paint, tomato, tomato, um, flat, sloping windshield, battery giving 80 kilowatt per hour. Okay, that's slightly better than 70. Wow, is that all? I thought I got a better part. Evidently not. So what part do I have in this? This uh, back here is 2 to 1 gear differential ratio. I mean, this isn't a trick. Like, the, yeah, the most powerful motor uses 100 kilowatts of power. Alright, this is not going to go well. Okay, this is not entirely terrible, but um, also not ideal. Alright, I'm going to grab some food and do this race again. So I'm just literally going to run to the fridge.
Did you miss me? Wow. Wow, no post-race celebration. Can we do that one more time? Man, I expected there would be another fanfare. Like, we're making Morty work for this. Alright, fine. Back to the workshop we go. I mean, they often say don't drink and drive, but they don't never say don't eat and drive. So, we're gonna be eating while racing. Well, I failed that race so hard that the game prompted me to exit the program. Um, at least I don't remember hitting anything that would indicate that I wanted to exit the program, but the game had other ideas. Now, maybe I hit a key on my keyboard or something. I don't know. I don't think I did. Some of these gear puzzles are pretty awful. I mean, technically, the mechanical energy is striking the match against the side of the box, but this is what they have in mind.
What about sonic energy? I guess sonic energy falls into longitudinal waves, which are just a form of mechanical energy. Dude, we could replace our brakes with fresh new brakes. Alright, is there anything over here? This sucks. I'm not sure which is worse, the magnets or the chimps. And then, like, sometimes you get these magnets almost perfectly lined up right, but you missed one. Or, like, they're just slightly off, and it makes you redo the whole thing. It's very not cool. Dude, we got our brakes back. This is our lucky break. Alright. Yeah, this is the same damn thing I couldn't disconnect last time. Oh, I have to click the blue part. Okay. Guys, we solved it. We built a circuit. Magnets. How do they work? We're going to learn a lot about magnets right now. Alright. Well, we got an 80 kilowatt motor. And now we got a 70 kilowatt motor. Let's exchange these brakes for some other brakes. Them's the brakes. Uh, all right. Um, uh, I guess we have to go into here. Wait, there's a fourth box here. Flat vertical windshield is not the part I want. Sloping windshield, whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on now. I'm trying to consider how do I escape this, since I'm kind of trapped. Jeez, okay. Well, we don't need this part. Self-lubricating bushings. Ball bearings are the best. Okay, we got some 4-inch wide, 2-inch... I actually don't know which are best. Uh, this is about the width of the tires. Not about the radius. 
So I would imagine that two inch wide tires have less resistance, but also less grip. Um, we'll take a look once we get back and read the blueprints. Using high gravity. Okay. Yeah, let's read. Um, I think that my four inch wide tires. Oh. Um, wider tires have more traction. So, yeah, my four inch wide tires are pretty good, but there are five inch wide tires to be considered. Eyes decal. <laughs> Okay, we got fresh brakes, if we want them. Flat sloping windshield. I don't think that's the right part. Curved sloping windshields have the least resistance, and we have a curved sloping windshield. Got ball bearings. Those tires are not the ones we want. Ah, slightly better battery. Yep, so we got eyes and yellow paint. Let's see if this does any better, because we have a slightly better battery. Which apparently makes a big difference, but not enough. actually pretty annoying. Yeah, I think, like, there are reasons I prefer the aircraft building to this one. Alright. So we've tried yellow paint. Red paint's gonna carry us to victory. Okay, we got brakes and brakes and we got some more brakes. Okay, and I think that was bananas. Something popped up on my monitor the same instant, so I didn't actually see what that part was. Is there anything I can see behind this other door? Door to the right is the one that's shown on the left there. Oh yes, yeah, so this door is useless. Useless. There we go, we said it right. Um, how about this door on my right, which is now on my left? Two boxes. Alright. Potentially the yellow box could be something we need. Don't know how the recycled part got behind this door, but fine. Dude, got a decal. What decal is this? Electric eel decal. Alright, that's just what we needed, guys. An electric eel. That's gonna carry us to victory. Unless I forget to apply it. Um, now, is there anything behind doors where chimps are hanging out? I suspect there is. Okay. Yeah, no, 
we're using the electric eel decal. We tried this other red box decal before. So, I could go down a level here somewhere. No, I can't. There's no way to go down a level easily here. What's with this maze? It's like I can go down two levels. Oh, now there's additional yellow boxes down a level? I don't remember that. But I see three yellow boxes, so we could consider trying to get those. Wait, did I just hallucinate that? No, here's a yellow box. Alright, we got narrow tires, five inch wide tires. And we've got. 100 kilowatt motor, 70 kilowatt motor, 90 kilowatt motor. Alright, we're gonna give this another shot. The tires should give 20% more friction. Although, I really... No, I want this. There we go. Yeah, we have to use the electric eel. The electric eel is gonna be red, not yellow. He's going to be unconventional. He's so accustomed to all, every electric eel ever being yellow that he's choosing to be red. We'll see if that offers a surprise. Also, red vehicles are faster. <laughs> see? Red vehicles are always faster. told you. You didn't believe me. Alright, level five. Hydrogen powered racer. So you want the power cell with the hydrogen fuel cell that gives a hundred kilowatts per hour. Using fuel cells that give more power than the motor can use will not help your vehicle go faster. All right, and then we need this. The best ratio of the differential is still two to one. You still want all the standard parts. The vehicle bodies can be different. Uh, fiberglass can be shaped into a smooth body that will move with very little air resistance. The most powerful motor it uses 100 kilowatts of power. back here with my box. Okay, what did I fight over? A 90 kilowatt electric motor. Not a bad part to fight over. So yeah, that was a good motor to fight for, because now if I get an appropriate fuel cell, um, I'll be going damn fast. Okay, we got paint. Alright, oh, we got another motor. Let's go escape so we can look at these motors and not get them stolen. We've got 84 bananas. Alright, 10 and 8 is 18. Man, I wanted to do clever math, but I suppose this will do.
All right, 100 kilowatt electric motor. Blue paint. Blue is, I don't know, for this one it's gonna be the, our paint of choice. We're gonna paint the vehicle before the vehicle even exists. All right, is there anything behind door number one? 16, all right. Uh, 12 and four. Three boxes up one level. Okay. Up one. Oh shit. Not cool, yo. I really don't feel like letting these guys loose, but I don't have much of a choice. Okay, we're not doing ten magnets. Sorry. All right. Using sand to increase friction. Well, I tried to pull this back to a seven and it didn't take. There we go. Box number one. Box number two. Ah, stop. Damn you. Come back here with my box. Alright, six magnets, that's not so bad. Okay, can I escape? Not really. Okay, we're gonna go up to the top. And see how many boxes we- oh shit. I see an alert from Chatty pop up. That's what I'm trying to react to. 17. 5. Yep, there we go. Um, so if I could go down one level and to the right there, that would be great. That might not be feasible. Oh, the other thing about starting at the top and working your way down... Um, well, hang on one second. Mechanical energy, heat energy, electrical energy, and one more. Uh, <laughs> shit. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Let's say that's heat energy, but it probably isn't. I mean, what do I know, right? Lightning is energetic. <sighs> wow. Damn chimp can back here with my fuel cell. suck. I only get to recover one part at a time from him. Ditto for this guy. Wait, did I lose my paint earlier? After having applied my paint, I lost it? I didn't realize you could do that. Like, having applied the paint, I can actually lose it, but it would still be on the car that I haven't built yet. That's actually really funny. I guess usually the chimps would try to take a useful part, but I had put all my useful parts in the workshop already. Trick question, there is no light energy here. Unless you're talking about how light that weight is. Yeah, that's not the heaviest weight ever, that's very lightweight. 
but okay. Stripes decal. All right, we got a fuel tank. Nice. Wow, we got we got a lot going for us here. Honestly, oh my god, we got like half of the best parts already. We just don't have a vehicle. <laughs> we're missing a body. We're missing like brakes. Uh, we're missing ball bearings, and we're missing one other thing. A windshield, maybe? But man, like, we could Fred Flintstone this thing. And it would be great. Okay, there's nothing worth looking at over there. Ah, this is blocked off. Um, can I make it out to the left here? No. How do I escape this cell? Um, so, to get over to the next room, I need to go to the upper right door. To get to the upper right door, I have to go left here. Magnets, how do they work? There we go. Hey, look, three yellow boxes. All right. Um, these are the two class one levers that combine with that rest of the gadget. Two boxes. Oh. Lots of boxes around here, to be honest. Alright, come on. Let's get through here. This is still way more fun than Geo Safari. You should have seen the time I last played Geo Safari on stream. That was painful. Although by the end of it, we had learned a few things about nature and rocks and trees and other stuff. But like, Geo Safari is, has quite a learning curve. It's not quite as bad as Shogi. Um, it's just more painful. Using oil to reduce friction. Shoot the boot. Let's put it on low gravity. Let's see how far can I kick this. Yeah, there we go. need to disable gravity. Alright, uh, we still need two parts. So to get down, we have to go down the shaft over to the side here. Thankfully there's some more boxes we can pick up. We've got a body, we got a windshield. That windshield is completely vertical and has a ridiculous amount of air resistance, but we might try it anyway. Uh, unless we get a better windshield. Got a decal. Got another windshield. Maybe I'm judging things too swiftly here. There's a box over there, but I can go down a level here. So we're gonna go down. Wooden body shaped like a box. Beautiful. Just what we needed. Electrical energy. Mechanical energy. Chemical energy. 
Uh, chemical energy in this potato thing. Electrical energy over here. Close enough. Oh, hey, we got all the parts we need. Let's race. Brakes are important. Yellow paint is going to carry us this time, maybe. We'll see. This one's really hard. So maybe the game won't give this to us. Oh my gosh. I stand corrected. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Super easy. Oh wait. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, this is level 5. They actually make you fight for it really hard this time. Um, so, uh, that was close. Maybe next time. Just for fun's sake. Should we try the other windshield? Here, let's try switching the body. And let's try switching the windshield. There we go. <laughs> so the game tries very hard not to humiliate you too bad there. Because, yeah, if it were to, like, shame you too much, players would just get discouraged. So that's why he, like, rubber bands. Is to keep players interested in the game. He's, like, taking his time on lap one. To try to make things interesting for the player. It's good game design. Alright, can I get into that lower right corner, perhaps? Oh, free box. 80 kilowatt electric motor. Okay, the lower right corner, to get there, I could actually go through here. I forgot these magnets were a thing. They're magic magnets. Can I click one of these wires here, please? Really, any of them? Oh, come on. You gotta let me click one of the wires. There we go. Apparently, to disconnect a wire, you have to move uh, the light bulb off the field first. That's just how collision detection works in this universe. Yeah, we've already got a good motor. Alright, we're gonna go up another level, because there's a free box right there. Oh, and there's actually a free box right up there, too. So, yeah, this could be slightly rewarding. I didn't see if that was... Okay, we're not doing this one. That's ten magnets. Ten magnets is about six too many. Wheelbarrow. Click 
Close enough. Alright, so we got metal bushings, self lubricating bushings. Alright, we're gonna check out what we got where it's nice and safe to do so. I don't think I got anything of any interest, but let's take a look at our inventory. Three and a half to one gear ratio. So we got self-lubricating bushings, another self-lubricating bushings. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, this is nothing of interest. Let's keep scaling. We have no choice but to face the damn monkeys. Unless, like, this door gives us a ridiculous windfall. Okay, we got one box. Do you feel lucky? Now, I forgot when I went in this door, do I have a quick escape back out? No, I don't. I'm gonna need to go a door to the right here to try to escape this mess. All bearings are nice. Nuclear energy is gonna be the roller coaster. And this, and this, and this. They're all nuclear. Let's check. Nuclear! All right. I can dream, right? I swear, are they ever going to show real nuclear energy here? Or is they just going to taunt us with that? I mean, the track to elevate the cars on the roller coaster? That track would, I guess, arguably be electric? Alright, where's my ball bearings? Here they are. It's not gonna make... Oops, those are brakes. Ball bearings. Here we go. Four wheels with ball bearings. Let's see if this is good enough. Well, that's pretty nice. Jeez, smoked him. Not even close. Get out of my lab. I am the king of science. That's how it works. I know it calls me an engineer or something and says I have a higher rank, but no, like, I just won the throne match. I am now the king. Um, get out of my lab. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, we could go back to the tech center, I suppose. And this will show, hey look, at, here's all the vehicles that we constructed here. Um, yeah, that was quite an adventure. So, yeah, uh, another playthrough I had gone through and constructed all the aircraft, and I did that with a speedrun timer. Um, this time we did a more casual run. Got through this in just over a couple hours. Um, 
I don't know that I'm gonna go back and like do automotive ever. We'll find out. But yeah, this has been a fun adventure. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, the Learning Company made so many good games. Um, it's a pity that uh, they aren't making games anymore. At least not that I'm aware. But yeah, good times. The 90s was a great time for science, technology, engineering, math, all that. Um, now they're trying to work the arts into that. Really, as a practical matter, everybody's become, got to become educated in one particular science, and that, well, two really, civics and statistics. Um, so yeah, civics is just the science of how people interact with society and their government at all levels. And um, statistics is the science about how you lie to other people without actually lying to them. No, it's not, but um, it's often used that way, so be careful. Study, learn stuff. They tell you to do lifelong learning and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.